Fluttershy and Tree Hugger Get High by the New York Brony. Blaze it. The smell of incense wafted around the room as a soft rock track played from the Bluetooth speaker connected to a long forgotten phone. The orange curtains that covered the large windows of the room were closed, giving it a hazy and out of mind feel. Fluttershy sat on the hardwood floor of the room, looking around at the trinkets that adorned it. Dreamcatchers, chimes, clothes all over the floor, a few band posters that seemed foreign to her. They all seemed to fit the girl who was sitting in front of her with her eyes closed, humming along to the song that was playing. Feeling like she had to strike up a conversation, the meek girl spoke. Thank you so much for inviting me over to your place, tree hugger. I've been dying to see what your room looked like. The floor beneath her bum felt hard and it was starting to get annoying sitting in the cross-legged position that she was. Tree Hugger hummed in response. Tja, totally anything for a friend. She opened her eyes and smiled at the meek girl. Feels nice having someone to share my sanctuary with, she added, just chewing about herself. Fluttershy nodded. Oh, I understand. I just wish... Oh, uh, never mind. She stopped herself before the sentence that had been on the edge of her tongue could leave her mouth. She had been thinking about him and how he had seemed to just turn cold on her ever since she started talking to Tree Hugger. Something wrong, Shy? Tree Hugger asked. Your aura is like way disturbed. Fluttershy pursed her lips, but decided that nothing was gonna get better if she had just kept it to herself. Well, I, I have this friend, and he's kind of possessive, but I don't blame him. I'm the only friend he has had in ages, and the thought of sharing me with someone, someone else, just upset him. Treehugger nodded, understanding. I just don't know what to do. He's been so distant and passive. I don't want to lose him as a friend, but I don't want to just stop being friends with you for his sake either. What should I do? Fluttershy looked to the other girl for help. Hmm. Treehugger hummed in thought. Nothing, she answered. Fluttershy seemed surprised at this. Her new friend was always so philosophical and calm. Surely she knew how to fix a social problem such as this one. N nothing she repeated. Yeah, Treehugger said. Nothing. He's afraid of losing you and you're afraid of losing him. Instead of trying to find a way to keep him, just like Prove to him that just because you're chill with me doesn't mean you're leaving him for good. In time he'll realize on his own that he was just being silly and he'll let it go. Then both of your auras will be alright again and you can continue your righteous friendship. Fluttershy blinked. Wow, I never thought about it that way. You're a really smart tree hugger. She smiled, feeling like a weight had been lifted off her shoulders. Her stomach stopped churning, and for once in a long while she felt like she could breathe again. Treehugger was right. Discord was throwing a tantrum, and soon he'd realized that he was being irrational. Irrational. <laughs> it all made sense. The weight has been lifted, but you're still grounded, Treehugger said. You need to relax, Shy. I've got just a thing to help. 
She stood and shuffled over to her desk, rummaging through it for something. When she found it, she let out a small righteous and turned back to Fluttershy. In her hand was something small and white with something green sticking out of it. In her other hand was a lighter. Treehugger smiled. Ultimate relaxer right here. She lit it up and put it to Fluttershy's face. Go ahead, Shy. Let it take you away from all your problems. Fluttershy stared at the blunt in front of her with a terrified yet intrigued gaze. She knew that drugs were bad. Her mother and friends told her so. And while she had friends who smoked cigarettes on occasion, Dash and Sunset in particular, she had never known anyone who smoked weed. What would the girls think if they found out she had gotten high with one of her new friends? What if they thought Treehugger was a bad influence on her? She didn't want to stop being friends with such a nice girl over something like weed. She gulped. Well, she didn't have to tell the girls. What they didn't know didn't hurt them, and it could just be a secret between her and Treehugger. Deciding that her choice was rational, Fluttershy took the burning blunt from her friend and put it to her lips. Righteous, now breathe in as much as you can, and breathe out, Treehugger instructed. Fluttershy did as she was told, holding in smoke for as long as she could. Then she breathed out, coughing like she had been underwater for too long. When her coughing fit ended, she felt odd, as if the world had stopped. So, how do you feel? Treehugger asked, exhaling smoke through her nose, making her briefly look like a dragon. Like... Fluttershy trailed. She honestly didn't know how to feel, nor how to describe the indescribable feeling. Her mind was racing, her body buzzing with excitement. She felt like she had drank four cans of an energy drink straight. Her heart thumped in her chest, and she swore she could hear the blood rushing around in her ears. I don't know, she said, settling on that after a short while. You'll get used to it after your second hit, Treehugger responded. She inched closer to Fluttershy and handed the blunt back to her. Less hesitant now, Fluttershy took it from her and breathed it in again. She exhaled and smiled. This actually feels nice, she sighed. Yeah, Treehugger agreed. Hold up, I want to try something. She shifted onto her knees and straddled the meeker girl, taking some smoke into her mouth. She made Fluttershy part her lips and blew the smoke into her mouth. Fluttershy blushed at the feeling of her friend's lips so close to her own, but was intrigued by what she was doing. Before she knew what was happening, Treehugger kissed her. Fluttershy returned the kiss with as much passion as she could muster, the taste of smoke lingering on her tongue. She still couldn't describe how she felt, but she knew it was much better than before. Nothing mattered in that moment except for the fuzziness in her head and the girl that was kissing her. When Treehugger broke away, she smiled. Thank you, Treehugger. I feel much better now. Treehugger grinned at her. Righteous. Author's note. I watched the new episode. And I don't know, man. I ship it hard, dude.